SAP 2000 has many drawing and drafting tools to facilitate modeling, and this tutorial will demonstrate a number of them. Typically, most models are constructed using either frame or area objects. If we select the Draw Frame command, we can draw frames anywhere in a planar view of the model. A right-click will lift the pen, but will leave you in the draw mode. You have the option to snap to grids, but again you may draw anywhere in a planar view. Although you can also draw in a 3D view, you are limited to drawing between points or grids. There are also a number of drawing controls available, including horizontal, vertical, parallel to angle, and others. The letters in the parentheses indicate the hotkey letter to activate this option. If we hit the H key while drawing, the line will be horizontal no matter where the cursor is. Similar control if we hit V or A, note the angle is 45 degrees, and L which draws a fixed length object. The Quick Draw Frame command allows us to generate a frame on a grid with a single click or on a number of grids by using a selection box. Once frames are drawn, there are a number of ways to edit and modify them. For instance, if we select the endpoint, we can move it by going to the Edit Menu, Align Points command. If we select the Align Points to X Ordinate option with zero, the endpoint will be shifted over to the Y axis. Next, we will trim off the segment of this line that extends past the intersection point. We do this by selecting the line to be trimmed, the endpoint on the side to be trimmed, and the line to be used as the trim point. Next, go to Edit, Trim Frames command and select Trim Frames. The Quick Draw Braces command allows for the generation of bracing in regions bounded by grid lines with a single click. To create secondary beams, select the Quick Draw Secondary Beams button and click in a region bounded by grid lines. The orientation may be in the Y direction, the X direction, or in a direction normal to the edge nearest your click. This last option makes quick work of adding miscellaneous framing. Next on the list of drawing tools are the area objects. The Draw Quad Areas command allows us to draw a completely arbitrary quad object where we can use snaps or no snaps to lay out the geometry. The Quad Area command has the same drawing controls for edge control as the frame objects did, including the horizontal and vertical options. Note that again these options may be selected using the hotkeys. The Draw Rectangular Area command allows us to generate elements by clicking and dragging a box. These boxes may be any size. And although this element was just drawn as a rectangle, it may easily be changed to another shape by using the Reshape Object tool. The Quick Draw Area command allows us to create area objects in regions bounded by grid lines with a single click. Throughout this tutorial, we have had the Snap to Grid Intersection and Points option on. However, there are many other Snap to options available, including Snap to Line Ends and Midpoints, Snap to Line Intersections, Snap to perpendicular projections, whereby a line can be drawn perpendicular to any existing line. And snap to line or edges. This concludes this tutorial.